interesting facts about ruby-throated hummingbirds. First of all, it eats nectar and insects. This is the smallest bird in the cell. Ruby-throated hummingbirds can fly straight up, straight down, um, hover in midair, or even go backwards. This particular hummingbird does not sing, but will chatter or buzz to communicate. Weighing about the same as a U.S. penny, it takes about five hummingbirds to equal a single chickadee. Its heart beats practically 1,260 times per minute. Ruby-throated hummingbirds go to southern Florida, but most migrate to Central America. The male ruby-throated hummingbird um, has a fairy red throat and a green back. Surprisingly, the wings make the humming sound. In full speed, the ruby-throated hummingbird flaps its wings about 60 or more times per second. It breathes 250 times per minute. That sadly brings me to the end of the speech. See you later. Hello, my name is Olivia and today I'll be telling you a little bit about the chipping sparrow. Chipping sparrows are about five inches tall. They eat bra yeah, they eat insects, seeds, and will come to ground feeders. They're small gray brown birds that, that nest in low shrubs. You can identify them by looking at their chest, which has no spots. They have two faint wing bars, a, a, bir a small bird that lives in America. They're songbirds and common yard birds. Migrate Migrate at night in a flock of 20 to 30 birds. The common name comes from the male's fast chip call. They line their nests with animal hair and are comfortable with people and have a rusty red cap. The end. Hello, my name is Tristan. I'm going to tell you about house finches. They are very colorful. They have a red throat and are very cheerful. Their habitat is wheat fields. The house finch is five inches long and comes in different colors. The male and female are different colors. The house finch are frequent nesters. Their diet consists of leaf buds and grape jelly from bird feeders and seeds. They are small but come in different sizes. They are not from the country. They are very social. The country they were released from, Cages in Mexico. Thank you for listening to my video. Bye. Hi, my name is Kayton. I'll be telling you about the dark eyed jinko. It is a unique bird that is mainly seen, to, seen in winter, and that's why it's sometimes called the winter bird. They have an odd, high pitched a uh, song or call that sounds like Q, 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 Q. Um, both genders have small slivers of white on their tails that almost look like a sheet of snow, but the male has a small sliver of white on its head, too. Oh, and they love ground feeders. Their nests include grass, weeds, and leaves, um, and they are built by the females, and the females build the nest. A dark-eyed junco is the size of the sparrow and weighs 16 grams. It eats weed seeds and insects, and it lays three to five eggs with reddish-brown markings. It is mainly seen in Canada, Minnesota, and Virginia. And finally, they live in fields, forests, and gardens. Ah, um, and this is this is the uh, what the female looks like. The yellow bird up in the corner is the male. I hope you like learning about the dark eyed Junko. Thanks for listening. My bird is the um, ruby throated hummingbird. It's a really small hummingbird with a um, wingspan of four inches. My height is just three and a half inches. The eggs are smaller than jelly beans, and the nest is made by the females. She can make one to two broods a year. The nest is shaped like a cup. They have a fiery red throat and a green back. They have a BPM of 1,260. And since I have, or they have small legs, they can't walk. Um, they are really picky. They only like red and orange flowers. They beat their wings 53 times a second. My wing, my. They, their wings beat really fast because they're really light. They're only one 
1.1 to 1.2 ounces. They are they're a really good flyer. They can fly backwards and even upside down. They they can fly fast too. They can fly at 30 miles per hour. Hello. Today I'll be telling you about the dark-eyed juco. The dark-eyed juco is 14 centimeters long. They are seen mostly in the winter. 15 interesting facts. It is in three countries. It lays three or five eggs. It is black and white. It likes seed, feed, seed and corn feeders. They breed in the winter. They build their nest out of grass, twigs, and weeds. They live in the, mostly in the woods and sometimes in suburban areas. Junkos are peaceful birds and have a wingspan of about 2.3 centimeters. My bird is mostly seen in Virginia, also seen in Alaska, Georgia, Canada, and part of Mexico. Their song sounds like a wood sparrow song. Hope you enjoy learning about dark-eyed Junkos. Hi, my name is Elaine. Today I'm going to talk about the ruby-throated hummingbird. Did you know that their eggs are as small as a penny? They have beautiful colored feathers. You only see them in summer or winter. They live in the woodlands and migrate in winter. Hummingbirds eat a lot of nectar from flowers. They're the smallest birds ever. The juvenile looks like the female or mom. When it calls, it sounds like a squeaky the, hum the humming, the ruby thread hummingbird's wing speed is so fast, you can't keep count. ruby thread hummingbirds are the only birds that are most to the east. The male performs a spectacular courtship in the spring when the female watches quietly. It has a blackish organ. They have a long black beak. I love hummingbirds. Thank you for listening. Hello, my name is Nicole, and I will be telling you about red-shouldered hawks. Red-shouldered hawks live in woodlands, wooded rivers, and timbered swamps. They mostly eat reptiles, amphibians, large insects, and small birds. They usually have two to four eggs. Most red-shouldered hawk females look like the males. They are seen year-round. These hawks use the same nesting area every year. The oldest known red-shouldered hawk was female and at least 25 years and 10 months old. I hope you enjoyed learning about red shoulder talks. Hello, my name is Ethan, and I'm going to tell you a little bit about the great horned owl. The great horned owl can lay up to two to three eggs in a sitting, which is very cool. It can also eat a mammal, a duck, a snake, and the tiniest of insects. The female is slightly larger than the male, but not by much though. You can see the great horned owl year round. They are also flying tigers. They don't actually have horns. They are almost silent in flight. They live in the USA, Canada, Alaska. The great horned owl does not migrate and stays where it is year round. They have a 18 to 25 inch wingspan. They're, they are the earliest nesting bird. You can also see them on the southern tip of South America. Their neck structure is unique. They have excellent vision and hearing. They aren't picky eaters. They are almost silent in flight. Description of the great horned owl, yellow ears, black and white body. Their habitat is forest, country, swamps, and deserts. Hi, my name is Ava, and I'll be telling you about American crows. American crows love eating fruit, fish, seeds, and other types of small mammals like sparrows, blue jays, and robins. Crows in America have up to 100,000 flocks in winter. Did you know crows mate, mate for life? Crows especially have huge brains. Crows hide their food because they don't want squirrels to eat their food. Now that I'm 
learning about American crows. Actually, I think American crows are actually my favorite kind of animal, except for horses, wolves, and goats. Crows are actually a pretty cool animal. Hi, I'm going to tell you about the Peleid woodpecker. It eats insects and will come to suit feeders. It has a red crown and long tail feathers. It is the largest woodpecker in the world. It is about 19 inches long and its wingspan is 30 inches. They can eat they can get eaten by foxes, weasels and squirrels. They are not commonly commonly seen. An interesting fact about them is they can laugh. They are really smart. They die at age 9 to 12. They are most active during the day. They are friendly. They are endangered, so you can't shoot them. Hello, my name is Esther, and today I will be telling you about cedar waxwings. Cedar waxwings make the following sounds. C, 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 and to C, to C, to C. Their eggs are pale blue with brown markings. And some of their physical features are they have waxy... But they have waxy looking red tips on their wings, that's how they got their name. Yellow tail tips, light brown, dark brown, and light brown, dark brown, and gray feathers, a crest, and a black facial mask. Young cedar waxwings don't have these masks, and their feathers can be streaky. Another, another thing about juvenile cedar waxwings is that they are more, they, they are more, more dull than the adults. Cedar waxwings can be seen in Virginia, Mexico, Central America, and, and Canada. They spend most of their time on the tops of trees, and they are often seen near water. Cedar waxwings have small territories, and they're usually at woodlands, orchards, and open areas with small berry-bearing sh shrubs and trees. Their diet consists mostly of sugar, fruit, and bugs. I hope you like learning about cedar waxwings. Thanks for listening. Uh, my name is Joe Foster, and the bird I am presenting is the blue jay. The blue jay mostly lives in North America. It has a diet of mostly insects, car carrions, seeds, nuts, and peanuts. It is a, blight, a bright blue and white bird with a gray belly. Did you know that the blue jay is very noisy. The blue jay loves sunflower seeds. The size of a blue jay is normally 12 inches, 30 centimeters. It is usually a light blue and white color and it is proven to be a very intelligent bird. The blue jay is mostly known for being noisy, but it is actually great at gathering food. Did you know that the eastern blue jay is much smaller and has a rust red beak? Of course, this bird is known for being the alarm of the forest. It will imitate hawks' calls to scare off birds from feeder, feeders. With that said, you can see the blue jay year-round. Blue jays are usually... Wait, no. <laughs> blue jays usually have four to five green to blue eggs with a brown marking on them. This bird, being smart, can usually remember where they place their food. They will sometimes mimic under other birds. Blue jays will sometimes carry seeds or nuts in a pouch under their tongue. This bird looks nice, but will eat other <laughs> birds' eggs from other nests.